Cyberpunk is finally here! Let's not talk about how it's here, but it is here. And their science fiction genre really inspired us to create some body modifications. Of course we are going to do it in 3D. And that's what this video is all about. We are going to make our own 3D element and gonna track this on our face. Let's do this. Wondering why don't we use Blender here at Cinecom? Well, I have some experience with other 3D softwares and personally I find that Cinema 4D is the easiest one to use, but also the easiest one to learn. And that is the reason why we are using Cinema 4D. But that aside, let's use Cinema 4D right now and start with the effect. We're ready to test our effect and we asked Jordi to give us some test footage. This is what we got. Explain yourself, Jordi. I'm a good test subject. We're using the tracker in Cinema 4D, but I don't know how it works. Yeah. We just encountered the first problem. We did a tracking without tracking marks, and apparently that isn't the best idea. So we are trying it again with some tracking marks. Is it enough, Lorenzo? I don't know, I think you need some more. Tracking attempt number two. This one with the green thingies on my face. As you can see, the tracking points went all over the place, and that's because the tracking software doesn't know which point is which when it disappears for a second. So to fix this, you have to manually go in and stop and again start the trackers to make your tracking work properly. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you real quick for all of the positive uh, reactions that I got on the Tuesday video. It really means a lot to me, and like I said, I want to follow my heart more and do things that I love to do. And one of those things is acting. I might suck at it, but I love to do it. So I'm gonna think about a fun skit for the Storyblocks ads. So now that we know that the 3D tracking works, we wanna take it a step further and we wanna create the bionic arm like in the trailer. And of course, we also need to test this. To save some time on the modeling process, we used the robot arm model which we found in the content library of Cinema 4D. After tracking the points and putting the arm on it, we noticed that it would take a lot of fine tuning and time to get the swing of each part of the arm right. So sadly, we had to drop this idea. But Cinecom wouldn't be Cinecom if we didn't try something else instead. In Cyberpunk, the people have these lines on their faces and we wanted to recreate this by using a mesh warp. This is a technique to get certain assets onto a surface of an object that warps like a face or a shirt, for example. We tried Lockdown and Mocha Mesh Warp, but both didn't give the result we wanted. As you can see here, at first the lines look fine, but after moving the face, it became way too distorted. We wanted to turn our head at least 45 degrees, so our head in the final effect wouldn't look too static. So it was time to try another technique. A new technique? Well, let me show you guys my new vocal techniques. Yeah, your ears are probably gonna bleed, but it's gonna be fun. Here we go. You better watch out, you better not cry, better not bow, I'm telling you why. Storyblocks is coming to you. If your ears are starting to bleed, guys, just, just gonna continue. You're making a list and checking it twice. 4K stock clips, these look nice. Storyblocks is coming to you. Backgrounds, roads, or skylines. Children dancing bright lights Just pick out what you want So just download for goodness sake Oh, animated titles, logo reveals Photo slideshows, just download it now Only one single price per year And that's it! <laughs> I should start a boy band with the guys What do you guys think of my voice talent? My singing talent? Let me know in the comments I'm pretty good, right? I know and I'm really sorry if your ears are bleeding. I'm really sorry. <laughs> All jokes aside, guys, unlimited downloads. So treat you or a friend on a Storyblock subscription this year. We have been using it for many, many years and really love it. And I'm sure that you will do too. So go check it out. The first link in the description 
down below. And now let's see what the guys are up to. I'm making Lorenzo pretty again. Lorenzo, it's like you're at a beauty saloon. How does it feel? I can't talk much, Jordy. <laughs> So this right here, guys, is some special wax that we've been using uh, throughout some more videos. Basically, you can just apply that to a face and then afterwards you can paint over it. So Jenning appears to be done with the uh, clay on Lorenzo's face. <laughs> How does it look? Let me see. It looks like he got a skin condition. <laughs> I did my best. I'm not a makeup artist, so sorry for that. But it's not finished and we're gonna place a lot of overlays over it. After the makeup was applied, we were able to take our final shot. This we did on a tripod, of course. I placed tracking markers on my face where the 3D model would be placed and made sure that the contrast between my skin and the marker was high enough. After filming our shot, we also took an HDRI, which is a 360 image with a lot of light information. This way we can have a correct light setup and reflection on our 3D model. The next step was to track our footage in Cinema 4D. A good tip I can give you is give your footage some extra contrast. We were tracking on the luminance level, so the contrast between the skin and the black markers is a must for a good tracking. That's why pump up your contrast. With the tracking data, we can apply our 3D model to it. These models were insanely easy to make. I used some primitives inside of the volume builder to connect everything seamless. I also gave them a band to match the curvature of the face. Once the model was following the face, I also added a dome with an HGRI on it. The first thing we made were huts, and we also gave them the same animations to really mimic the trailer. After that, I rotoscoped Lorenzo out so I could place some stuff behind him, like smoke, flares and even spaceships we made in 3D. Then it was time to add our very own 3D elements we just made and we masked them out and blended them. Last but not least, we added an overall grading and some extra glitches to bind it all together. So let's have a look what we made. I'm really curious, like curry sauce. <laughs> okay, let's, let's just have a look. The tension. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, samurai. We've got there a city is. to burn. I must say the 3D looks better than the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not so good a uh, makeup artist that no. I thought. No, but it's it's good. It's nice, and it's also funny that where where the glitches come. Yeah. I know that that your tracking wasn't working well. Like that's one tip, I guess. Like if your tracking is going wrong for just a couple of frames, just put a glitch over it. No, but I think that, that you guys did a great job. Uh, really amazing. For your fourth or fifth uh, 3D project, you guys are making great progress. Yeah, I really think so too. cool. Yeah, and I think this is something great to look forward to in 2021. I think more via VIX and 3D is gonna come. Uh, Lorenzo's already at home, he's already taking vacation. He's sitting at home vacation. Uh, we are also going to go on a small home vacation. I'm just gonna sit at home. I'm not sure what you're gonna do. Maybe some 3D? I don't know. <laughs> More 3D, of course, of course. I'm just gonna make some walks, just sit home, do nothing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. This was the last copycat of the year. Next year, we're back. And I just wanna say thank you so much for all the support, for yeah. the views, for everything this year. Thank you so much. I wish you all happy holidays, a nice Christmas, nice everything. Family, if you can come together, if that's possible, just make the best of it, guys. So guys, be safe and stay creative. Yeah, might need me to know for. I could also stay creative, sec. Okay. And stay creative. <laughs> this hurt, man. Oh, what's that, guys? Oh, I'm at the stool. Madonna, abonnee.